Condolences pouring in tonight as we remember beloved former University of Georgia football coach and athletic director Vince Dooley. The legendary Vince Dooley died this afternoon. Here is video from an appearance he made during a book signing in Rincon in 2016. Dooley was head coach for 1964 to 1988. He led the Bulldogs to the historical 1980 National Championship along with six SEC championships. Dooley was 90 years old. He was a mentor, teacher, and friend. WSAV's Chase Justice takes a closer look tonight at Coach Vince Dooley's life, incredible impact, and lasting football legacy. A very dear friend. I met him the day that he was hired in Athens. What a trip after that, huh? Very few people had a front row seat inside the life of legendary Georgia football coach Vince Dooley, quite like Sonny Siler. Well, of course, we, we owned Ugga. We had the mascot. He knew that, and he liked Ugga. And so we got to know one another real fast. The Siler family has the responsibility of raising each and every Ugga mascot, something they've been doing for decades now, dating back over 60 years before anyone even knew of the name Vince Dooley. I know that he came and nobody knew who he was. Our president didn't even know who he was. But between the hedges, Dooley was unlike anything Georgia football had ever seen. Posting a record of 201, 77, and 10 as Georgia's head ball coach, including six SEC championships and a national title in 1980. A big reason for that title was Heisman Trophy winning running back Herschel Walker. A statement released by Walker says in part, My heart breaks at Coach Vince Dooley's passing. Coach Dooley was like a second father to me, and his family became my family. Without Coach Dooley, there is no Herschel Walker. Dooley went on to become Georgia's all-time winningest coach before transitioning to the role of athletic director in 1979, a position he held all the way up until 2004. But let Siler tell it, even following his retirement, you couldn't keep Dooley away from that team. He would frequently go over and watch practice. Uh, he never tried to get involved. That wasn't his nature. And um, he went to all of the games, and he would always be there to congratulate them. He, he was part of, of the team without being a part, if you know what I mean. Even attending Georgia's most recent national title appearance earlier this year, the last time the two men, both born in the year 1932, last saw one another. I just knew him so well as a person because I traveled to games with him, sat with him, uh, and as I told you, went to the last national championship game with him. We'd talk about football sometimes, sometimes we'd talk fishing, and sometimes we'd talk whatever he wanted to talk about. But it was a pleasure to be his friend. And Georgia Governor Brian Kemp releasing a statement on Dooley's passing, saying in part, quote, Marty, the girls and I are truly heartbroken by the passing of Coach Vince Dooley. Like most Georgians, especially those who attended our state's flagship university, we were monumentally impacted by this legendary man, proud husband, loving father, and cherished friend. Georgia Bulldogs head coach Kirby Smart also expressing his sadness about Coach Vince Dooley's passing, saying in part, quote, Our family is heartbroken by the death of Coach Dooley. He was one of a kind with an unmatched love for UGA. He will be missed in our community, university, and in college athletics.